I think a lot of you guys have figured out by now that I like to avoid the obvious joke on these indicator profile series videos, um, but I couldn't really think of anything good this week, so here is a deli counter. Yay. It is the Delhi Indicator, uh, more specifically the Ellers Delhi Indicator. Yes, this is another John Ellers piece of work, uh, kind of. Uh, I don't know how much anybody cares about stuff like this, but we'll talk about it in a moment. But let's go ahead and get into this. I don't think this is going to be a very long episode, so uh, let's get a nice quick one out of the way, shall we? Uh, before we start, if you're new, understand this is the premier indicator channel in all of YouTube. Always was, will always be. But a lot of stuff we say is not going to make sense to somebody who hasn't gone through the system. So go through the system. Go to nononsenseforex.com. Read the homepage. Watch the video on that homepage. Get started. Get caught up. For the rest of us, moving on to the Ellers Deli Indicator. The year was 2015. So Ellers was doing this back in the early uh, aughts, 2002-ish, uh, I think, um, putting this whole thing together. But it wasn't really conceptualized and coded until 2015 by a man named Bill Mars. So there's your history lesson on this one for today. Either way, this is well within the 1996 and on threshold we like to see here on the channel. This is going to be very, very basic. It is a confirmation indicator. It is a basic zero cross, and that is it. Um, as far as exits go, um, I would not. Personally, not financial advice. We move on. Let's take a look at the Ellers Delhi indicator. Super duper exciting. It is a zero cross. So if anybody has completely forgotten how to trade the no-nonsense Forex way, once price, I'm sorry, yeah, once this line crosses and closes above the zero line, that will be your signal go long, and then vice versa when you go short. Pretty darn easy. The example looks pretty good. You know, we have a, a loss there, but nothing a good algorithm couldn't fix, most likely. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this thing performs. Uh, before we do that, as always, understand how you see it perform here doesn't really mean anything. You must test it in your own system. That means everything. So don't get too excited if you see great results. Don't get too let down if you see less than great results. Um, it all matters how it does in your system. Now, also know down below is where the real gold is. We give you my automation blog that has an embedded video on how to test this yourself on the MT4 strategy tester. If you want this for MT5 or trading view, you just need to run a Google search for this indicator on that platform and then type the word download after it and you can see if it's there. It might be, it might not. And as always, the blog, uh, which gives you everything you need to know. This this indicator is really interesting. I suggest you go to the blog. It's um, It has aspects of indicators we're already familiar with like the MACD, like the DSP, which we've profiled here. Uh, really cool, but it it's also just has one setting that you need to tweak. Um, at the end of the day, the, the back end of it seems to be fairly complex. The front end of it, super simple. Um, so all you indicator nerds out there, go check that out. And also know that there is a second supplementary part to the indicator profile series, and that's going to be the video for this indicator that you will see on Dan's YouTube channel. So if you like what you see here, you want to know more, you want to see it move in real time to show that it doesn't repaint, you know, all that kind of stuff, then immediately after this video, go to Dan's channel and check out the supplement video for it. And then we also give you the secondary email address where you can supplement indicators for this show yourself. We've already done two so far. We will certainly be doing more in the future. And then as always, a place where you can download all of these indicators yourself. Now, let's go ahead and see the results for the Ellers Delhi indicator, starting off with EURUSD and uh, pretty solid across the board. Um, a lower amount of trades for people who like that, unless you are a four-hour trader and you are a lunatic and you like total trades that are this high. Now, I've always said, I think the most success you can have as a four-hour chart trader is if you run an automated system, if you're a coder. But just know two. Let's, let's just say this number was uh, a bit more average, like um, let's say 40 this is three and a half times the amount of trades you would be taking here. And I've always said in Forex, it's nice because spreads are pretty nominal, especially if you're on the daily chart. You know, they really don't factor in that much. You don't have to worry about them a whole lot. But if you're tripling your workload on one pair, 
You know, what does that look like if you trade 28 pairs or 36 pairs? Spreads and commissions and fees and stuff like that may start to actually matter for the first time. So for those of you who like to trade a lot or are okay with this being your amount of total trades, let that be your lesson for this week. Don't forget that spreads are a thing and they don't have to matter if you don't want them to. But when you're trading this much, that many times over, they're probably going to factor in. So do the math. Uh, but let's move on to gold where we see very good results on the daily chart. Uh, we've seen this before. You know, it performs you know, okay, pretty decent in Forex. But once you get to a pair like gold, you see a dramatic difference. And that's what we see here. Four hour, again, is goofy. You know, <laughs> after the maximized tweaks, we've only come out with eight trades, which is a uh, the absolute opposite of what we saw before. So take that for whatever it is. I don't trade the four hour, so I can't really speak on it. But there you go. Moving on to the S&P. This is strong. Excellent win-loss ratio, of course. You're going to get that sometimes when you have lower trades like this. But the lower trades are nice if you just want to trade indices and not have to mess with it a whole lot. But you're getting what amounts to pretty much the average of the S&P every year, which is a big deal. It's called the benchmark. Very expensive, high-dollar firms all over the world attempt every year to beat the benchmark. And most of them don't do it. But you can do it with one indicator. I keep mentioning this because I don't think people understand the significance of that. People line up and pay millions and billions at the end of the day of dollars to these firms to beat the benchmark by a couple of percentage points. What could you maybe charge someday if you show that you can also beat the benchmark by a couple percentage points or even more? Something to think about. But let's go ahead and round it off with Bitcoin as we always do and you're going to see decent results here. Uh, not knock your socks off results like we've seen with some of these, but I mean, who's mad at 18%? I'm not. And a solid amount of trades. And uh, I think from what I've seen on the back end of my affiliates, crypto traders tend to trade less pairs than Forex traders do. Sometimes it's just Bitcoin. Sometimes it's Bitcoin and ETH. Sometimes it's just a couple other ones beyond that. So 48 trades for somebody like that is not terrible. So try this one out. It's very simple. Um, it may even have a place as a secondary confirmation indicator. Who knows? You got to try it out. Um, but we were happy to bring this one to you. And we will keep bringing these to you. What you need to do in return is subscribe and hit the bell. You don't want to miss everything. We have so much going on here. We have the Trading Psychology Podcast every Monday. It is the most significant thing I do on this channel. Indicators are cool. Psychology is where the money is. But then the Indicator Profile series does come on every Wednesday, blog every Thursday, and the 10-Minute Contrarian Investment Podcast every Saturday. Who else has your back the way this channel does? Nobody. So go get it.